So what's up everyone, it's your boy Sir Faldin here back with another video. In today's video we'll be reviewing the LeBron 18 Lull Space Jam. We do have the special box here on the channel today, so make sure you guys stay tuned. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. We are so close to 1,000 subs, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys did that. And hit that bell so you don't miss more exclusive content like this. Now, let's go right into the review. Thank you guys. Let's go. So starting with the top of the box, what we have here is Space Jam, A New Legacy. Looking at the label of the sneaker, what we do have here is LeBron 18 Low, multicolor, multicolor. I got a size 11, my true size, and the retail on the special box pair was $220, but on the regular box pairs, they were just $160. Looking more into the box, what we do have here is an orange lion, an Xbox logo, and we also do have the LeBron King James logo. And just for the one more side, we just get that nice Nike logo again with your label and your hole punch. Flipping this bad boy open, boom. What we got here is what you will be expecting if you did buy this off the secondary market or you just bought it for retail on the sneakers app. You get the two shoes and then you get the green box with the controller inside and we will be taking a look at everything included in this box. Taking out the green box, which does include the controller, what we do have here is just your standard Xbox controller box. Let's open this up and I will show you guys what is inside. Opening the controller, you do get this nice presentation. Going down to the controller though, you do get just one standard Xbox controller with that Space Jam theme on it. Very, very nice controller, I will say. Even when I feel it, it's just a really good controller. Very nice. And then under that, you do get those batteries. So you can play with your Xbox. Personally me, I would wish this was a PlayStation collab because I do play on a PlayStation, but it is what it is. Now that you guys just saw the controller and everything that it has to do with it, let's move on to the sneakers. So let me pull them out. You got the Coyote one right here. And we do have the Roadrunner right here. We'll take a quick dive into these right now. So taking a look at the LeBron 18 Lowe's, we do have here is your Coyote pair right here. As you can see, you can see his reputable hits of that TNT that he always likes to explode onto the bird, as I do know I watch the show. And then you get his Yao right there in the airbag. And overall, this shoe just looks really, really good in hand. You will not be disappointed. You have a lot of good Space Jam hits. That's the LeBron logo. And then moving into the inside, you just get Nike React, some brown hits, Nike swoosh at the back. Overall, very nice ball shoe. And I cannot complain. You even just get that nice toon squat hit on the tongue. Very, very nice. Let's move on to the next shoe though. Let's go. Moving to the inside of the insole for the Coyote pair. You do get that guy right there, the Coyote, with that Space Jam themed color jerseys. And then going to the inside behind the tongue, it does say help with a board. Nice detail right there. And to finish this guy up, we got this gum outsole with the pink LeBron logo and then that red front foot. Starting with Roadrunner now, which one you guys comment down below, which one you guys do like better, which side, the Roadrunner or the Coyote pair. Personally, me, I like the Coyote pair, but this one's really nice as well. So moving to the swoosh, you do get that cloud or like that smoke because he just runs super fast. Then over here at the airbag, you get beep beep because all he does is go beep beep. And then all you have here is a blue upper with this cyan blue hits. And then the trails right there of smoke as a hit right there. Lots of bright colors used on the sneaker. Good materials, good shoe. Also for sizing, I would definitely recommend shoe to size as you get that tune squat hit at the tongue. Going in into the inside of the sneaker, get that Nike React on both sneakers. More of that airbag. And then that Nike logo with the LeBron at the back. Starting with the insole on the Roadrunner pair, you get that Roadrunner with that Space Jam theme. And then going into the inside of the tongue, you get the embroidery Roadrunner right behind that tongue. Nicely done. And last but not least, you get this gum outsole with that blue front foot. And again, that nice pink LeBron logo. Opening up the box after the shoes are left out, there is nothing else included in this box. You just have that, again, Xbox controller that we just reviewed. 
and just the shoes. That is the end of the full review on these Space Jam Special Box LeBron 18 Lowe's. Let me know down below in the comments what you think of them. Are they fire? Are they trash? And also comment below if you did guys watch the new Space Jam 2 movie. Personally, me, I did. Um, personally, the Space Jam original one is just way better. This one just seemed too commercial friendly. I didn't really like it. I mean, I know it's a kid's movie, but you know. But moving on from the movie. I'm losing track. Let's go on to the resale on these LeBron 18s. Um, right now they're going for around 500 to 700, depending on sizes. Bigger doing obviously better. Um, I see this being a really great hold, especially since it's based off Space Jam the movie. And anything Space Jam really seems to age well. Look at the 11s and just look at anything from Space Jam. It does pretty good. Also, it is LeBron, like it's a special box and it's like LeBron 18 and they look pretty fire and they did sell on sneakers at the original pair without no box. So I just see this going to the moon. Definitely hold this for one to two years. I could see this shoe becoming 1000 to 1.2K depending on sizes, of course, being in the bigger sizes. This is more of a collective piece and not a wear piece, like a wearing piece. So just keep that in mind when you are buying. Definitely right now it's pretty low. And I can see this definitely shooting up. If you guys didn't notice already, stock was almost under a thousand on the sneakers app. That is mind blowing. So why wouldn't this shoe go up to again a thousand where it was selling for? I just see it going up right back to where it was. Hold that. I can definitely see a good ticket out of it if you are planning to sell it. If you are planning to keep it, it's a great collector's piece and it's a great piece for your collection. Definitely great. So either way you do win. Well, sizing for the LeBron 18 lows, I would personally go in store and try a pair on first before actually going purchasing one. Personally, me, I would go a true to size, but you can even go a half size up because these do run narrow to the toe box. Well, that is the end of the review for the Space Jam, a new legacy LeBron 18 low special box review. Let me know down below in the comments is it fire, is it trash? And now if you guys could hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, that helps me out the most because we're almost to 1,000 subscribers.